Hey guys, welcome back. Hobby Table Collector's Home. Here where we like to just uh, give shout outs or opening videos, product descriptions, reviews, uh, a little bit of everything hobby base related. So you can find out is it worth your time, money, whatnot. If you're interested into it, just get some basic information. So today we have one of our more favorable ones. <laughs> And that is from the Pristine Auction. Now, this is a website that does have, um, it's an auction-based one, of course. Uh, they have different categories ranging from entertainment, sports, music, uh, coins, historical stuff, a little bit, little bit of everything. Uh, they had auctions that run daily, uh, weekly, uh, and different categories, again, to elite. Uh, it, it's a broad, broad-based uh, type of thing. But... What we got in here today is a item that we picked up under their entertainment. And this is from the Wizard of Oz. Now this is an 11 by 14. Now in the past, our 8 by 10s are one of the issues we have with their shipping. So we'll see how this comes out and everything. But this is a Wizard of Oz, the three munchkins of um, Mickey Car uh, Carl, uh, Jerry Marin, and Carol Slaver, which... Um, well, of course, we're, we're three of the munchkins. Now, this particular picture I picked up, I liked it just the way it represented them, and it had the names set up in the signatures. Now, this does have JSA authentication with it, and it's supposed to have the card with it. Now, the only reason I do say that, <coughs> excuse me, is because it's in the description, and some of the other times in the past, it has not been included. So some would say even JSA when I'm not JSA pristine auction when I've inquired them about that that it was missing. Of course, it has a number. Look it up. It will verify authentication at the JSA website. Yes, that's true. But it's the whole point of in your description you stated it would be included, and when I get it, it's not. That is a common thing with them. I've gotten quite a few things like that from them where it was not. Um, also, damages. Now, as you can see here, shipped very well. I do not anticipate any damages. However, there have been times on some, this has been clearly pristine. Open it up, damage beyond, it's, there's so much damage to the photo while they were packing it. So, we'll see how this goes. Need That's been one of their, their problems too. It's almost like, uh, depending on who's packing their stuff up, they just, you know, the guy's just like, yeah, whatever. Okay. I know I really should have been a little more careful cutting into that. Alrighty, but as you can see it came in bubble wrap. So, nice bubble wrap cards there. Now, this is something, one thing I do not like the way they do this is when it's like this, I mean this is okay, and you can see it's not moving. Some of the others, oh there it goes, it starts to slide. Through shipping and everything it could slide around, but this one's fairly tight so I'm not anticipating any issues with it. But I have had some where some of the damage in the quarters has come because it was sliding around as it was being shipped and got caught in, in there. Now they put it in a nice little sleeve with cardboard backing, bubble wrap, and a good sturdy box. 8x10s usually come in something like this. And a package like this, sometimes not even this, it's like an Avery document sleeve, three ring binder sleeve. Where they drop it in, put a piece of cardboard behind this, not even in with it behind, and just drop it in here. And that's the only protection you get. So they get damaged fairly easy. And our packaging usually does not state do not bend or anything. But that's their 8x10s. All right, so I am going to take this out here really quick because in the past I've seen that some things look good. And when I take it out later, I see it's not so good. I've actually gotten some where you can see where it actually had mount damage, where they, it was previously owned by someone and they mounted it, framed it, and it came out bad. But, okay. But as you can see, this is why I liked that one, the way it set them up. And as you can see, let's see if it comes out. Let's, I'm trying to get there. There you can kind of see there's a lot of wrinkling damage right there, fold. But it's not showing up on the front here, so I'm okay with that. This is very thin paper, type of, it's not really photo paper or anything, but I'm still okay with it. Um, I do not like, it's an uneven cut. You can see how it was cut. You got a border going on up here, and it does not cut evenly. So when they trim this, 
that was a quality issue that someone wasn't paying attention that that wasn't cut right. It's still a nice piece, JSA. So this is a very delicate because it's very thin. But like I said, I liked the way the setup was. It tells the person's name, the character they played, and then the signature right underneath them. So I do like that. And I just do not like that piece right there, which if looking at the picture here, because sometimes if there's an issue, they will say see pictures and they will give close-ups on it. Now this, they did not give any details on it, that anything like that was wrong. And if I click on it to see the picture, just give this a second to load up. They made it difficult to see that that was an uneven mount. So I'll have a little sh shot up on here and I'll post a picture on there of what's on there. But as you can see the way the picture is, they have a white border around it. That's not part of that photo, so you did not see that. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now and I, they made it so it was difficult to tell and they did not state that in their description. These are the type of things that I do not like about them. They are kind of minute, but it's not what you're expecting to get. Uh, I have gotten some things that have been spectacular, but majority of the times it's stuff like this. It's, it's, it's not what exactly as they're showing or stating. You know, there's damage that was on her that they don't state or it was cut long. That was something else. That's why I take these out because of one of the previous ones when I took it out. It was actually another well, previous Wizard of Oz one. I took it out and it was the same thing. It had been trimmed and cut and I did not see it in their picture description and didn't state that and also the picture they gave which they say please observe our highly detailed pictures but when you have a white background around it and it's not cut right that white background kind of looks like the border of the picture and they come find out no it's not and you cannot tell that it's been cut uneven or there's been any cut damage like that that's the type of things I'm not liking about them but anyway that's what we have on that one. I mean, I do like it. It came out good. It is what it is. So, join us more. Um, I do have something on the way on one of our little Facebook ad checks. It's been a while on those. And what that is, is if you're if you're on Facebook, you see sponsored ads come up all the time. Uh, giving product and whatnot. And some of them you can tell they're just a load of a... Uh, yeah, a load. We'll just say that. And some of them, they seem legit. You can't tell. So I look into some of those ones, uh, not just any or all of them, just specific ones, and I base it on information, which I'll describe in the video when I shoot that. So thanks a lot, guys, and until then, um, happy collecting, safe collecting, and that, again, was Pristine Auction. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, let us know what you do like, what you don't like, and based on don't likes, we will try to make improvements and get more of a gear toward of what you would love to see, to see how this goes. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. If you know of a business that you're curious about and would like us to check out, or if you have a business that you know of is really good and like to pass the word on, send it to us at info at thehobbytable.com. Again, that's info at thehobbytable.com.